rated uh, number six in Barcelona on TripAdvisor at present and does a sort of modern uh, look at tapas, inventive style, lots of Catalan specialities. We've ordered a color uh, rather than the wine pairing just because I like cava and I don't like red wine that much. This is something called a 60 by 40, 60% 60 Chardonnay and 40% uh, local, local uh, varietal that I'm not uh, familiar with. It's very nice. And the first course has arrived and it's a tomato salad with an olive. I think the olive is lurking in the depths. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, like eat it gently. Yeah. He's like, I'll take it in one go. Let's do it. It's like a whole tomato and olive explosion just in one mouthful. The next course is a smoked eel with foie gras, a green apple foam, and a smoked cheese locally produced. The green apple foam really uh, pairs well with the fish. Nice. It's like a crispy, sugary thing as well. Next course is a risotto of plankton, apparently with a small lobster. Uh, she gave a local name, something like Siala, not something I've heard of before. Let's have a little taste, smells great. Ooh. Wow, that risotto is perfectly tender. It's not a rice, I think it's a pasta risotto. Mm. Um, and it tastes incredibly green and grassy, like a herby flavor. And then the rich lobster uh, complements it beautifully. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Beautiful. Prawn dim sum in a prawn and coconut soup. They call it a love soup because the chef made it for his wife. Oh, the coconuts and the lemon grass can really smell. Mm. Mm -hmm. The prawn. The lemon grass really intense. Good with the coconut. Mm. Oh, that's very good. And it looks like the next course is going to include some sous vide eggs. Okay, so they've uh, put a sous vide egg into each of these uh, containers. And uh, the chef has sliced up some truffle and they're now applying what looks like a big slice. I don't know what that noise was. They're applying a big slice of truffle to each egg. And the sous chef is coming around with a sauce that he's been whipping furiously. The chef has been gazing on him very disapprovingly. Uh, it's obviously going to be just so. It's called the duck migration. Uh, it seems to be candy floss. <laughs> it's candy floss. And foie gras. I think it's grated frozen foie gras. Oh. That's a strange and beautiful combination. It's like sweet and fat in, uh, in one mouthful. And then once you're done with this, you open up the container and you eat what's inside. And here we go. Wowza uh, TV. <laughs> Voila. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, I truffle, it's like nothing you've ever eaten before. Really like mushroomy, earthy. Beautiful. Scallop. Seared on a bed of uh, crunchy rice uh, with chicken stock. Perfect scallop and almost a toasted risotto underneath. Quite salty, brings out the scallop's uh, freshness. Delicious. The Iberian suckling pig with sweet potato, kumquat. There's some like I don't know, dehydrated sweet corny bits and um, some amazing crackling as well. Really nice dish. Understated, but tender. The crackling is fantastic and then just a little bit of sweetness from the kumquat and the corn. Really tasty. Okay, it's the golden egg course. Uh, it's made of a mystery ingredient, so it's... Oh, wow. Looks like it's got, uh, oh my goodness, there's a yolk. Oh. Mm. oh. 
I think it's maybe a creme anglaise, white chocolate, maybe a mandarin orange yolk, and I think some flash freeze raspberries underneath. Oh, oh, that perfect. That's the most beautiful dish. Yes, this is called La Vie en Rose. They're playing La Vie en Rose right now. Uh, and it's got a little surprise here that you're supposed to eat in one mouthful at the end. So. Three sized strawberries, fresh strawberries, and a strawberry cream, I would say. Oh, oh man. Mm. Mm. The combination of strawberries and roses. It's the most perfect strawberry dish you've ever eaten. Then go in for the uh, for the ball now. Looks like it's maybe some kind of a white chocolate. I'm guessing with the strawberry center, white cocoa, butter, encapsulating a intensely strawberry liquid. Almost like a strawberry liqueur. Oh, how beautiful! Final course is called Stairway to Heaven. There's a little donut. There's a little ganache. The other flavors we are told we must discover for ourselves. I'm not sure how to eat this. I'm just gonna a scoop. scoop up. Oh, it looks like some sort of insanely dense, rich chocolate brownie. Super rich chocolate ganache. More chocolate. Dark chocolate powder coated over everything. It's a fantastic dish, but we've already eaten so much. Oh, there's popping caddy in there as well. <laughs> yeah, That's fun. You have to taste one of those little uh, balas. Right. One of the two. Okay, in goes the bomba. Oh, the popping candy is so much fun. It's in my throat. It's a chocolate liqueur of some sort. Mm. 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 Oh, the decadence knows no bounds. <laughs>